record keeping and reporting requirements. When a waste shipment is received from off-site, the treatment, storage, and disposal facility owner and operator must sign and date all copies of the manifest to verify that the waste has reached the appropriate designated facility. The TSDF must keep a copy of the manifest for its records and send a copy to the generator within 30 days to verify that the waste has been accepted. To track hazardous waste activity nationwide, RCRA requires TSDFs to report to EPA the types and amounts of hazardous waste generated, received, treated, stored, and disposed. Reports are due to the EPA Regional Administrator on March 1st of each even-numbered year and must detail the waste managed during the previous odd-numbered year. If an LQG sends its hazardous waste to a TSDF but does not receive a copy of the manifest with the signature of the owner or operator of the TSDF within 35 days of the date the waste was accepted by the initial transporter, the LQG must reach out to the transporter and TSDF to determine the status of the waste. If the LQG does not receive a signed copy of the manifest within 45 days, it must submit an exception report to the EPA. The exception report must contain a copy of the waste manifest and a letter from the LQG explaining efforts made to locate the waste. The EPA administrator may require generators to furnish additional reports concerning quantities or disposal of waste. If a SQG sends its waste to a TSDF but does not receive a copy of the manifest with the signature of the owner or operator of the TSDF within 60 days of the date the waste was accepted by the initial transporter, the SQG must submit a copy of the manifest to the regional EPA administrator, along with some indication that the SQG has not received confirmation of delivery. As with LQGs, the EPA administrator may also require small quantity generators to furnish additional reports concerning quantities or disposal of waste. Additionally, facilities who recycle hazardous waste received from off-site without storing it first are also subject to biennial reporting requirements as per the Hazardous Waste Generator Improvements Rule of 2016.